but there's a lot of skepticism, particularly in the West, about those claims. And really, that's largely because of Beijing's behavior so far. President Xi has only met with President Putin. He's not met with President Zelensky. And there was a, a meeting in Moscow last month between President Putin and President Xi, uh, which was being closely observed by the West. Also, uh, China put forward a 12-point peace plan, which ultimately was calling for a ceasefire. But that was largely dismissed by a lot of countries in the West because there was very little say for Ukraine, really. And remember, China have never condemned Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So I think officially they are still neutral, but there are doubts over that uh, from a lot of countries in the West. But also those same countries do really understand the importance of China potentially bringing an end to this conflict, really. And that is the reason in one way why President Macron is over in Beijing at the moment. He sees China really as being a country that can tip the balance in this conflict. They could go one way and use their influence over Russia to try and secure a peace deal between Russia and Ukraine. But if, as the report suggests, they are considering providing weapons uh, to Moscow, then they could tip the balance the other way and escalate the conflict further. So China, very important role to play in this conflict, despite their claims that they are neutral. All right, so one question is, how much influence would China even have over Russia if President Vladimir Putin is so bent on taking more territory in Ukraine? But the other question is, well, how much sway does France and the EU have over China on this? What's, what, what have those relationships been like? Well, I think Russia would certainly listen to Beijing. It's probably about one of the only countries that they really would listen to and take on their advice. It's because they're one of their last remaining allies, really, and they remain an important ally. There's a close friendship between President Putin and President Xi. We saw them signing those agreements uh, to bring the two countries closer before the war and obviously that visit in Moscow last month. So also as well, China obviously are backing Russia economically. Uh, buying up a lot of Russian energy and oil at the moment, and therefore Russia quite reliant on them. So I think they certainly could have an influence. In terms of how much of an impact that France and the EU could have over on, on swaying President Xi and changing his opinion on the war, it's difficult to see them having too much of a chance, really. They don't effectively have too much leverage over Beijing. Yes, they are an important trade and investment partner, but really I don't think President Xi will be swayed by European leaders. He's clearly willing to listen to them. He's met Pedro Sanchez, he's met the German Chancellor, he's now me meeting the EU Commission President and President Macron. Uh, but so far from the statements that have come out from these meetings, again, President Xi calling for peace negotiations as soon as possible between Russia and Ukraine, but no real action from China on trying to get those peace negotiations. So President Macron has put forward his case, but it's difficult to see whether or not President Xi really will take much action from the argument that he has put forward. Yeah, a few similarities here with the situation in North Korea. Western countries constantly saying that China is the one that could influence North Korea's behavior on its weapons programs, but that just hasn't happened. All right, Adam, good to talk to you.